All right, so let's have the pharmacology of the next antiviral drug. And uh, uh, before us is the word pegylated interferon alpha. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, the pegylated interferon alpha, it could have other applications, uh, but its primary applications is for what uh, is used for treatment of what hepatitis. Okay, so it's known as an anti hepatitis drug or agent. Okay, so let's look at the pharmacology of this uh, drug. So, um, pegylated interferon alpha, also known as what, peg interferon alpha 2A, is a drug used to treat what? Chronic hepatitis B and C. Okay, um, it can be used in treatment in adults and children. So, it is administered once a week and it comes in vial and what's pre-filled syringe forms, okay? So now here are some of the important things you should consider when I'm um, taking PEG interferon alpha 2A. So I think um, let's just have a look of how the drug looks like. That's a PEG interferon alpha 2A, or uh, the full name is what? Pegylated interferon alpha, all right? So um, let's move. The common side effects of this drug can give you fever, can give you chills, can give muscle or joint pain, can cause headaches, can cause weakness or tiredness. All right. Now um, warnings. Now that's contraindications for these drugs. Now uh, this uh, pegylated interferon alpha should not be used with ribavirin by pregnant women or men whose sex partner is pregnant, okay? So, um, these drugs may cause serious or fatal side effects, okay? And these drugs should not be used by children younger than one year old, okay? And these drugs should not be used by what? Breastfeeding mothers, okay? Those are the contraindications for this drug. Um, I'm talking about the dosage now. Uh, for chronic hepatitis C, you can give it as what? 180 micrograms. I can give it what? Subcutaneously, once weekly. Okay? Uh, for chronic hepatitis B, you can give what? 180 micrograms subcutaneously, once weekly for what? 48 weeks okay almost 10 months okay now dosage modifications um, for people who have neutropenia you should adjust the dose okay from 180 to 135 to people who have thrombocytopenia you adjust the dose to 90 um for people who have what uh okay okay people who have increased alanine transaminase levels in the body you should discontinue the treatment immediately, all right? For people who are depressed, you should reduce the dose to about 135. For people who have renal impairment, you should reduce the dose to about 135 too. For people who have hepatic impairment, you should discontinue the treatment immediately, okay? This is how it looks like. It can come with the name of Pegasus, all right? That's Peg Interferon Alpha 2A also known as what, uh, the pegylated interferon alpha, okay? So uh, the pegylated interferon alpha, it is a linear or branched polyethylene glycol. That's where the name PEG comes from. Polyethylene glycol moiety, okay? And it's attached covalently to interferon. So that's why it said I would, it's a word, polyethylene glycol interferon. That's why it said it's pegylated interferon okay so um it has an increased half-life and steady drug concentration okay so since it has an it has a high half-life then um uh, it requires what less frequent dosing than the normal interferon that we know okay so um treatments of chronic hepatitis c all right when it is combined with what ribavirin Okay, so when it's combined with ribavirin, it has um, a great deal uh, to treating what hepatitis C. Okay, 
this is about what the pharmacology or what is peg related interferon alpha or the peg interferon alpha to a drugs. Okay, that's it until you guys break down.